Hello and welcome to the MBH Show. I'm Matthew and this is my show. Today, we are unboxing this, which it says perishable, and it also says on it, seven sons from our pastures to your home. That's what it says right there. This was a gift, and I was gonna order from them anyway, so this is actually Christmas. Merry Christmas, and uh, it is actually 2024, so it is uh, January, and I got this. So, we are going to, yes, surgery, that didn't come out right, but whatever. We're going to open this, and we're going to see what's in it. So, let's go at it. So, it says what is in it, and that is uh, two beef for stew, beef chuck roast, two gourmet ground beef, gourmet burgers, beef something steak, and flat iron. So that is what is in this, and uh, it comes in a big, nice styrofoam thing and it says uh, this package contains dry ice handle with care uh, safe handling blah 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 so be good be kind be uh, safe so this is what it looks like so it does have, it's nice and cold. And I'm going to replace that. This could actually be used, uh, this styrofoam could be used for something. Not a big fan of styrofoam, but uh, if you need to go out and party, then uh, that's what you can do. Okay, so let's see what is in this. This is what was in the styrofoam. And we can see kind of the packaging. Okay, so let's see what is in this right here. And, um, Let's open it. This is exciting. I like it. Okay. I'm sure that made a great noise. So we have some really nice looking ground beef. I mean, that looks very nice. Hopefully you can see what it looks like. So we have, looks like, two of those, if I do it right side up, in there, and again, looks really, I can't wait to have this, I can't wait to have all of it. This is a beef flat iron steak, which is quite good, looks quality. Now mind you, the portion sizes are what you probably should be eating versus going to Megaville 
where you eat dinosaurs sized meats so uh, you have to keep that in mind oh what is this this is a Delmonico Delmonico this to me looks like a ribeye but it's called Delmonico look at that that looks nice I think Delmonico hmm. that's what it looks like looks like great quality here's another flat iron again you're not trying to eat a dinosaur so you have to keep all that into consideration it says it's a half a pound which i think is plenty for a serving um, this is gourmet ground beef 2.5 patties okay so this is already it looks like uh their patties are ready for cooking on the grill for hamburgers and uh it looks, again, good quality. Here's another one. It looks like there's two per. Yeah, so it's two, not two to five. It's two five ounce patties. And again, looks very nice. It's just another one. This is, this is also a, a, a beef delmanico. And I'm, I'm, I, I'm sure I'm butchering that. Haha, <laughs> butcher, <laughs> get the butcher. It's, we're doing meat. And, okay. Um, and it also looks well packed, very nicely done. We have a couple more items in here. This is beef for stew. Beef for stew. And, um, it is 12 ounces, which is a good amount for a portion or uh, two, depending. We have another one of those, just so that I'm showing you each one, just so you can see each one's packaged, how it's packaged, and uh, you can be your own judge. This is Seven Sons Farm, and uh, looks good. And then the last thing in here is, I'm going to read this to you, beef chuck roast boneless. So we'll get this out of the way and then we'll put everything back in it. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So that is it i'm going to put all this back in here and then i'm going to go put it in my freezer but it says 100 percent on each one of these it says 100 percent grass-fed beef okay as you can see 100 percent grass-fed at the top so 100 percent grass-fed is what you're looking for if you want healthy fats from your meats you have to have grass-fed unless it's a fish and then they don't eat grass. So, um, or you want, for beef mostly, beef, bison, yak, um, buffalo, whatever you want to call it. But any of your grazing, no, we want no at all, any grains whatsoever, only natural grass, um, opposed to artificial grass. But what I, what I mean by that is, some grass may not, may not be organic. I don't know what this is, but at least you're ahead of the game if it's grass-fed. If it's grass-fed, you're still gonna be ahead of the game. You're still gonna get healthy fats. Uh, it may not be as healthy. If you can find organic and um, grass-fed, that means that the grass is verifiably organic and it allows you to be healthier and have healthier fats. But I'm not gonna cook this up just yet. I just wanted you to see Seven Sons. No, I'm not affiliated. No, I don't get kickbacks. If you wanna to donate to me, I'll go buy anything you want to try. Um, but this is what I'm trying out. I'm trying out Seven Sons Farms, delivered straight to my door. It's frozen, so the quality looks great. 
and uh, I'm gonna put this in my freezer, I'm gonna defrost something, and then we're gonna eat it. Not on this episode, but on the next episode, because I have a couple things I wanna try um, from a different, couple different places. So, Farmer's Direct, um, I think it's Farmer's Direct. Great information, right? Anyway, there's the one that I can pick up locally, order online, locally at my farmer's market. This one, and then another one that's coming, um, maybe even Butcher Box. I don't think I'll do Butcher Box for that one, but I've done Butcher Box a lot and I like it. But I'm looking for uh, just comparing, just checks and balances, making sure that things are legit and um, the quality is good. And that's what we're doing on this. So this one, we are complete with this episode and I do thank you. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. It really helps. And uh, I love doing these kind of um, unboxings and information to give to you. So if you, if you want to donate, like I said, please, you can contact me at contact me at the show.com and uh, we can work something out. Uh, that is C-O-N-T-A-C-T-M-E at the MBH show.com and um, shoot me an email if you want. You don't have to. I'm not requesting you to. Just if you have something to say that you don't want to say in the comments, it's perfectly fine with me. But please be nice. Please be kind. Please be good people. We need that. And um, be free. That's another big one. So uh, go adopt a pet uh, there's lots of dogs that need them i'm a big dog lover uh, i'm i'm gonna go adopt one in a little bit and uh, if you want to donate for that that's great too also we are going to help some uh, homeless people with some grab bags if you want to donate for that as well uh, i also really like uh, Hungarian Vishla dogs. So if you are one out there that want to get rid of one, um, I'm looking for one. So, but it doesn't need to be that. Let's all help these poor little creatures that need some love. They need a home. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.